Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lead curve problem number 141, linked list cycle. In this problem, we are given the head of a linked list and we need to determine if the linked list has a cycle in it. So, a linked list has a cycle in it if we are able to reach a node from the linked list again by following the next pointer. So let's look at this example over here. So we are given uh, the linked list. We start from the head of the linked list and starting from the head, we move to the next uh, node by following the pointer. And as we are moving to the next node, what happens is the last node, its tail points back to the node that we have already traversed, right? So in this case, it's forming a cycle because now we are stuck in this cycle. We cannot go outside this cycle. So how can we actually solve this problem? So there are two ways I'm going to talk about in this solution. So the first way is, let me just show it over here. All right. So the first way is by marking the node that we have visited as visited. So what are we going to do is we start from the head of our node. And as we are visiting, we just uh, mark it as visited. So what are we going to do is change the value of the node so instead of three now we mark this as visited okay so the value becomes equals to visited now what we do is we move to the next node so we mark this as visited too and so on while we are moving we mark all of these as visited and the next and while we're following this path we see that we are reaching the node that we have already visited right that we have already marked as visited so in that case what we know is we are forming a cycle in this linked list and that is when we return true so this is one of the ways where we are actually changing the values and as long as it's fine it doesn't um, make anything wrong by changing the value we are going to follow this process but in um, most of the uh, like real world scenario we do not want to actually change the values right so we are going to use a different method which is two pointers method so what are we going given is the head so now what we'll do next is we will create two pointers a slow pointer and a fast pointer actually we don't need slow pointer uh, we are just going to use the head as our slow pointer so Okay, now that we have two pointers, head will move um, as a normal pointer, that is one step at a time, but fast will move two steps at a time, okay? So now what happens is we start from this node and then we move the head once. So head now reaches here and then we are going to move fast two hops. So from here it reaches here okay so now our fast is over here now then again we move our head once in the next iteration over here and fast moves two steps from here it moves here and then again here so it's here it has reached here now okay i'm just going to erase the previous pointer so that it doesn't make any confusion all right and our head from here now it's moving one hop to here okay and then again our fast is now moving two hops so from this position it moves two hops to this position so in the same iteration what we found is height and fast both are pointed to the same node so in this case we will know that both slow pointer and fast pointer are pointing the same node because there is a loop there is a cycle if there was not a cycle then fast would keep moving further and it would eventually reach a null pointer and slow pointer which is the head will never be able to uh, reach the fast point but here they are meeting at a point right and they are meeting because there is a cycle so this is the reason why fast pointer and slow pointer works in this case so in this problem we are going to use two pro two pointers method to solve our solution okay so now that we know how to solve it let's start our code before that talking about time complexity uh, it's o of n time complexity because we are uh, will be iterating over each of the node 
in the worst case and the space complexity is constant okay so starting with the code so what are we going to do is um, let us create a fast pointer so fast is also pointing to the head now while uh, fast okay so how long are we going to keep on moving so assuming that if there is no cycle then fast would eventually reach null value right so that is until when we want to perform the iteration and also there should be a next for the fast why you will just get to know it very soon now so head will be equals to the next and the fast should be equals to fast that next step next so the reason why am i using fast at next over here as well is because fast at next could be null value if there is no cycle so if this is null then we will not have the next of the null right so this will give us a error so in order to prevent that we are using fast at next here so now we are moving each of our pointer we also need to check why after we are performing the iteration um, we need to check if fast and slow pointer overlap so if those two overlap then we are going to return true because there is a cycle right and if there is a cycle we need to return true otherwise we are going to return false okay so that's it about the solution let's try to run our code great let's submit this now awesome so as i already mentioned the time complexity is o of n as we are iterating over each of the node and space complexity is constant because we are not using any additional data structure here hope you liked my solution let me know in the comments down below thank you so much